Hi, PC Guru here. Today I'll be showing you how to make any USB drive uh, ready boost compatible in Windows Vista. Uh, the only requirement is that the USB drive that you use has to be at least 256 meg. Um, other than that, there's no other requirements you can use any drive. Alright, first off, you need to go to My Computer. Once in My Computer, right click on your USB drive that you just put in and go to properties then go to ready boost and make sure that uh, that is ticked it has to be ticked all right then you click apply and then OK once you've done that you can close it now the next thing we need to do is open registry edit now to do that just go to start search and type in reg edit and hit enter and reg edit will pop up now you need to find the registry key for your USB drive so to do that you go to H key underscore local underscore machine and open it up then go to software then once in software find the one called Microsoft open that up inside Microsoft find a folder called Windows NT it's in alphabetical, alphabetical order so we'll be at the bottom open that up then open current version and inside current version find EMD MGMT that one there and open that up then inside you'll see all the USB drives that you have connected to your computer since you installed Windows Vista. So um, find the name of the USB drive that you want to make Ready Boost compatible. Uh, and then once you've clicked on that, across, you need to change two settings on the drive to make it Vista um, Ready Boost. And to do that, the first one you need to change is device status. You need to change it from 4, which is what it should be, to uh, 2. So you double click on it, make sure it's in hexadecimal, and then change it from 4 to 2. Then hit OK. Then the next one you need to change is the write speed. So you find write speed, which on mine is at the bottom. Um, and you change it from whatever it is to 1000. Make sure it's hexadecimal and then hit OK. Now, once you've done that, all you do is close it, open up my computer again, right click on your drive and go to properties. Go to ready boost. Um, I can't do it at the moment because I already have a ready boost drive installed so I'll just cancel it to show you that it actually does work cancel that one okay go to this one go to ready boost and there you go all you do is click use device and put it right up if you want to use the whole memory card you can the drive you can but the only problem is is if you use the whole drive um, you have to drop it back down to zero and hit apply to be able to put any files on it because it uses up the whole entire drive so then you just click apply for it to be done click OK and you're done